And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some four color food. So I had a donation to uh, play a Corvold Fey Cursed King deck. This awesome Brawl Commander, five mana, four, four flyer. Whenever it ETBs or attacks, you sacrifice another permanent. And anytime you sacrifice a permanent with Corvold on the battlefield, not just because of that trigger, but you put a counter on Corvold and draw a card. And honestly, this is just the um, this is just the best Corvold deck, in my opinion. I just have the two of them here, but we also have the Once Upon a Times that can find them. We have a couple Trail of Crumbs that help us dig as well. And this this really is, like I said, this I think this is the best Corvold deck. Now, this isn't really like it's not a strictly Jun deck built around like playing three or four copies of Corvold. Um so if if you're the the person that donated for this for a Corvold deck, um if you if you would prefer me to do that, just let me know. Um they're not here in the chat right now. Um but I know they said they're gonna be watching it later on YouTube. So if you're watching it later on, just let me know. Um but I just wanted to but basically I'm playing the best the very best Corvold deck that I know and, and made the, the best version of it. Um, but yeah, so I really like this deck. So we're going to be playing it over in ranked, even though it's a donation deck, because I, I do think this deck's just really good. Um, but it's basically, um, you know, very sacrifice heavy. We, we're um, calling it four color food. Could be four color sacrifice. Um, you know, we're built around the food mechanic with Trail of Crumbs, Oko, Gilded Goose, Witch's Oven, all providing food for us. Um, you know, every time we sacrifice anything, we get to do damage with Mayhem Devil. This is a deck I've played a couple of times on, on the stream here, but I haven't played it with Corvold, but I think it may be better with Corvold. And so we're going to be adding it to the deck here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, um, give this a try. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and take it on over to ranked for four color food there. So why no mystical dispute or negate in the sideboard? Um, I don't really, I don't think I really want mystical dispute in like the mirror matches because it's while it's really good at countering like a very early Oko, it's not going to be very good in the late game. Um, I could definitely see playing negates for uh, for control decks, but I'm just going with. We only had the one land there. I'm just going with the duresses instead. You know, it's cheaper. And I'm just I'm just going with the duresses instead, so don't have to just like hold up mana. So my opponent kept seven. I'd be putting a cauldron familiar back if I keep this. So I have seven, eight, nine. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 green sources plus the four once upon a times. I'm going to give this a try. And I'm going to wait a turn because of once upon a time. Obviously, this this hand was a huge risk, but it could it could have worked out really well with curving, you know, drew it into Oko and and everything. But it could also just do absolutely nothing, which is what we're doing here. I think there's a possibility that Oko gets banned on the 18th. I think it's possible. I'm holding cats back because we could draw it once upon a time, and I need to be able to cast it for zero mana to find a land. That's why I was holding them back.
Um. Alright, well that thing kills Oko. I only pick targets that interest me. Lucky you. I grow bored with this fight. It's pretty aggressive minus there. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign. Act. It's not poisoned. Trust me. I don't think we're winning this. An unfortunate casualty. But obviously we are just really slow. This hand it took a big risk. So it's a game you're interested in. Oh dear. So unfortunately, this Order of Midnight is going to kill my Oko. I have a backup Oko, but then the backup is going to get killed by Vraska. Why do I think there's a possibility that Oko will get banned? Because of just how dominating it is and how miserable it is to play against and how people really don't like it at all. And it's the two GPs this weekend. It was in... 13 into the top 16 decks. Like 13 of the top 16 decks had like four Okos. <laughs> it looks dominating here, yeah. On, on turn six, or turn five. I played on turn five after missing a bunch of land drops. Yeah, I did. No, I haven't heard anything special. No. I, would, I wouldn't hear anything about that. This is gonna be a pretty interesting. I can take it. It's gonna be a pretty interesting game of two and three. Yeah, sorry, Rex. Yeah, 
finished up a little early with Naya. tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. I just have to get Vrask out of there, but I'm, you know, risking a lot here because if they just have removal, I'm dead. But I've been pretty dead this whole match, this whole game. All right, so perfect, perfect matchup for Legion's End. I really like Vela Summer also. I'm not sure about... I'm not sure if I want Masker Girl. Definitely like Wicked Wolf. Basically like our chances here. I think I'm going to take out the Trail of Crumbs. Maybe take out Golgari Queen. I don't think I like Masker Girl. Gonna be killing all my stuff. Like just wiping their battlefield isn't great against Midnight Reaper and um, the uh, the creature that gets stuff back. The raised raised dead creature. So like board wipes because you know like this is a, you know wipes both both sides. Isn't isn't like board wipes aren't really that great against their deck, especially when I'm playing a whole bunch of creatures. If I didn't have creatures. Then, sure. I'm just gonna cut the Paradise Druids. I don't really have anything else I want to cut. I mean, it's a whole lot better than what we had last game. If I was on the draw, I would definitely mulligan this. I'm hoping that we can deal with this on the play. <laughs> we found all the geese. There wasn't a single land in those top five, so maybe we'll draw, you know, land. All we need is, is any land that's not a Fable Passage. <clears throat> you know, guess any shock land.
That'll do. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. Maybe I should have sideboarded out you must be Murderous Rider. Like, maybe take a one, instead of taking out two druids, maybe I should have taken out one rider, one druid. It's not poison. Trust me. Kind of wanted to trade and steal the innkeeper. That would put the Oko down to one loyalty, and it would have been really difficult to deal with this Foulmire Knight. We're just going to make another food and make another food here. Keep Oko's loyalty very high. Getting abundance of food out is going to really help the Wicked Wolf. Um, let's take a draw step. Good draw step. You see the humor here. No lucky clover. <laughs> I leave dead bodies wherever I see. Swallow in your I deceit. Grow bored with this fight. See, so yeah, I like to draw a witch's oven to go with this cauldron familiar. <clears throat> Wouldn't mind. See, that's the problem with just killing their stuff. That Order of Midnight card is awesome. 
I wouldn't mind a Corvold. Corvold would help help me get a lot of cards. Pay two life to play Cauldron Familiar. I need to be even more aggressive. We need to be more aggressive, and we're using the goose for some food here. This other wicked wolf could kill the innkeeper yet again. But of course, the innkeeper will already draw cards. Could have removal. That's not so bad. It's not so bad at all. It's not like Cauldron Familiar can't come back. So Mayhem Devil, Corvold. Hmm. The thing is, I, I don't have I don't have good cards down at the bottom of the library, so like shuffling isn't very good. I don't have another forest. I only have the two forests, so I can't go grab another green source for Goose to make another egg. My only basic is Mountain, and that's towards the bottom right now. The cards that I want, Mayhem Devil... And Corvold, those are not like those are not on the bottom. We put a bunch of other cards down the bottom, not those with the once upon a time. So I'm just increasing my chances to draw that or decreasing my chances to draw those by shuffling. Plus holding Fable Passage makes a Corvold or Mayhem Devil top deck even better. Because you know, like we we have the um You know, we play a Corvold, then we crack Fable Passage, we draw a card. Your corpse will make that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Need my goose. I've suffered worse. So if I play the Cauldron, if I get the Cauldron Familiar back, then we can have all three things attack. Vraska and kill Vraska for sure but then, but then they just don't block at all and they have good good attacks back mm, that takes up all my food and stuff too though I don't have green mana to create a food yeah
Yeah, sorry, I was just I was just saying that a little bit ago. I was talking about why I don't have green mana to fetch with this either. That's what I was talking about. Well, that's a terrible draw. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Yeah, I, I need that goose. I want to draw Corvold. Or once upon a time that draws Corvold. Either one. Well, that's good for me. They're not attacking with a bunch of other stuff. I'm not playing that many lands in the deck. We only have 24. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 lands out of 18 cards out of the deck. There's only 13 left. And the rest of the 42. Yeah, I'm saving Fable. Yeah, there's there's only one extra basic in the deck, and it's at the bottom of the library. So it's not like we'd be taking a land out that we can't draw, because we're, we're not drawing that land anyway. And we're saving it because it makes... Um, it makes Mayhem Devil and Corvold a whole lot better. It's not like I'd be thin in the deck anyway, because it's just taking a... a the lands at the bottom of the library that we could grab with it. My opponent's drawn three more cards than I have. They drawed three more cards and four less lands. That's not a good recipe for us winning. Wait, 9, 10, 11, 7. Yeah, 11 to 7 lands. Yeah, 4 less lands. I 
go to four. Alright, not the best game for us. Oh yeah, we're playing two temples in here. As far as lands go, that's not not the worst one. We, we never saw those last game. Those blind to tyranny. Welcome to the feast. The brambles of truth twirl and curl. Choke, I think a little merriment is in order. <clears throat> well, Oko doesn't do a good job of beating Oko on the draw. Like, you know, like, it's not a... It's not like a mirror breaker. You know, like, it's not like a... It's not like a card that does that well. Playing second. Let's broaden your existence. Ooh, I feel so alive. One bite, and all your cares are gone. All right, well, that helps a little bit. That slows him down for sure. Your new look is enchanting. All right, still looking for Mayhem, Devil, and Corvold. Welcome to the feast. Found their wolves. So of course we're just going to be able to turn the cavalier into an elk with our Oko. Uh, 
All right, now they're not attacking, so we don't have to worry about um, oh, blocking or anything here. But now we're going to have a a 4-4 four, four, and a 3-3 three, three world. Is enchanting. You fear your truth. Basically, with having backup Okos, I can do the minus five next turn. So, like, my plan is, like, like they attack Oko for three, take it, go to five loyalty, I make a food with the goose. It's not poison. All right. Well, that's not as good for me. Let's broaden your existence. Uh, Fires of Invention is not going to dominate if Oko gets banned. If it's just Oko getting banned, um. I mean, Simic is still going to be the number one color combination, even if it's just Oko getting banned. It'll just be more Risen Reef, Cavalier, Thorn. Like, Cavaliers are going to be a lot better. So it'll just be, you know, like your Risen Reef, Cavalier, you know, going up to Agent of Treachery, Mass Manipulation. Like, what are my opponents doing without Oko? Fires is pretty easy to... Like, if, if you want to target Fires of Invention, it's pretty easy to build anti-fires of invention decks. There's a lot of really good cheap interaction for fires. Um, I'll shear the wool from your eyes. Yeah, I wouldn't be worried about fires of invention. Surely you see the humor here. It's easier to go under Risen Reef than go under Oko, though. So it, the the main thing that banning the main thing that banning Oko would do would give Aggro a chance again. But as you see here, all all these decks, like all we're playing against today, the only thing that that people are playing are decks to try to go over the top of Oko, because that's the only thing you can do. Is go over the top of it. The steel cards, mass manipulation, agent, and treachery. Those cards are awesome against Oko. And looks like that's what my opponent's doing, unfortunately. So basically, I want to play Veil of Summer. I don't want to take out too much of the deck, though. We really didn't, like, we really haven't drawn very well. We haven't drawn, like, a variety of things, you know? Like, we just had all Okos, or, like, the one game we had all Cauldron Familiars, and the other game we had all Wicked Wolves. We're not drawing a good variety of stuff. But of course, like Noxious Grasp and Veil of Summer, like those are the two cards to play. Just don't really know how I want to play them, like where to fit them in. All right, here we go.
<clears throat> Alright, Witch's Oven would be my best draw. You've been experimenting with more historic legends decks settled on Jeskai. Emery for, for four Mox Amber. Okay, I like it. Yeah, Emery and Mox Amber. Power out Runus Blast. Okay, then Joyro for your engine. And yeah, you get all eight Teferis there. I like it. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that... Yeah, I, I don't think Black, Blord, Black, Black Blade Reforge, Weatherlight, Circle of Loyalty, those probably aren't going to be good enough. Um, but I do like... Rebel but maybe Traxos, maybe. Wild if you want to more artifacts for Emery. Free. Maybe Traxos. Let's broaden your existence. Well that's unfortunate for me. Hey feature. That was definitely the thing that defeated my Mayhem Devil here. The thing that I was hoping that my opponent wouldn't do. Quite the nibble. Was have turn two Oko to turn it into a 3-3 a three -three that doesn't do anything. Oh, I am behind on the sub goal. That was our 14th sub of the day. Oh dear. Is 24 lands too many or something? There's no way 24 is too many with playing four colors. Thanks, Mercury. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Man, we have been drawing so bad. Make it 15. Thanks, Mercury. So alive. Surely you see the humor here. All right, I was saving that, but I guess I'll just thin the deck for a land. I was going to try to save it for. Corvold for now, or Corvold or Mayhem Devil. Kind of, I wish I was playing three Corvolds. We just have we haven't drawn Corvold a single time yet. I wish my Vraska was a Corvold. Obviously, Vraska here though kills the Yoko, so it's not like Vraska's bad. I invite you to change your ways. Oh, I see how it is. Ah, uh, thanks, Munchies. 
It's really nice of you. Thank you. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Didn't even attack. There's no reason not to attack with these 3-3s three here. Corvold! Never Corvold. Even, you know, I kept the Trail of Crumbs. Like, Trail of Crumbs, we'd be able to draw a lot of cards with Trail of Crumbs. Nope. Yeah, go Bant Legends, you get Traxos with the Great Henge. And yeah, of course Oko is the best legend in Historic. Quasi duplicate. <laughs> well, somebody asked earlier what deck I thought would do the best today, and I said this is the best deck that we have for today. But our draws have made this deck look really bad, though. Let's see if maybe we can get something better. Yeah, we haven't seen Corvold or or uh, Trail of Crumbs. Two Trail of Crumbs, two Corvolds. We haven't seen either of those cards at all. Our engines. Well, I guess there's a Trail of Crumbs. When you saw the message when you logged in, you jumped off your chair in delight, and then you saw it said in brawl. Yeah, it's just just banned in brawl right now. So I'll have 
Next turn, I'll be able to play, o you know, go grab an island, play Oko, and have a second Witch's Oven. Using Oko as bait for Witch's Oven. Um. Hmm. All right, that looks like a good elk over there. Who's more food? The fool. The fool who <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. They could ether gust their own cavalier of Gale now. Yeah, you can target your own stuff. So yeah, they could ether gust their cavalier of Gale, put it back on top. I can no longer stand by and watch. Don't worry, I got this. They just shocked in here. Well, like Clarion? So I only bring back Cauldron Familiar at end step if I know I'm attacking or I think I may want to attack. The reason why... Um, I mean, well, I have, I have more Witch's Oven's activations, but after the last Witch's Oven's activation, like I, I knew I wasn't going to be attacking into that Cavalier, so that's why I didn't, I didn't uh, bring it back. I think I may be attacking here. I mean, they. <clears throat> they did tick up and they shocked in. It's like if I bring it back, they could Clarion and kill my Cauldron Familiar, and then I have to sack something else to bring it back. Oh, I just tick up Oko and I bring it back. Never mind, we're good. Welcome to the feast. So they're down to nine. Familiar with double eleven kills pretty quickly. Two life a turn there. I am 
making this up as I go. So I like our chances here with just double oven, cauldron familiar, and of course Oko playing defense. They don't have too much more life. Only discarding one card. Interesting. Seven. So that's six. Oh, I don't have red mana, do I? Hmm. So if I tick up on my oven, make it three power, that's that's four, put them down to two, and then I can oven, sacrifice, put them down to one. So I can't give these things haste. Oh wait, I can just, I can tick up on the familiar, make it a three, three, Never mind. Yeah, we're good. All right, so you're, you're a three, three. I invite you to change New your go. ways. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. Let's broaden your existence. Figured it out. New Oko. All right, dress in. I guess they're like the Cavalier version. Kenrith is kind of a problem. I don't think I really want Wicked Wolves. I guess we play a wolf. Yeah, I guess wolf's more valuable than Paradise Druid. Braska does kill Teferi and Narset. So I'm not sure I'm not sure between like Vraska and Wolf. What's more valuable? Wolf can do some blocking, it doesn't like necessarily die to the sweepers. Can be a problem, problematic card for them to deal with. Yeah, Noxious Grasp kills Kenrith, but again, all the all the interactions like a little, um, a little narrow. You know, like I have Oko to get rid of Kenrith, and Oko gets rid of the, and then you know, I have the two Murderous Riders for Planeswalkers. I like just keeping lots of threats. Hey, we finally have Corvold. I feel like that means I should keep, because we got Corvold. We're up a game, so we can keep a bad hand. I'll just complain about it later. <laughs> um, turn one or turn two duress? Turn two duress. Be like, oh, nothing I could have done about that hand. I'll just be like, man, my hand was so bad. T 
Turn to duress. Double fires. Ugh. I was going to take one fires, but there's two of them. I don't really want to like I want to try to draw lands so I don't really I didn't really want to put like anything back on top so I wanted to try to draw lands the card I wanted the least in my hand was the wicked wolf <laughs> fires of elk vention no it's enchantment too enchanting for Oko King's Grovel. It's not poison. If they draw a land here, I'm pretty dead. Oh, wait. They don't need a land. They just make these things haste anyway. Oh, no. I I was thinking they'd need to, like, spend five mana, and then they use the... But then they don't have the extra one to give this thing haste. I don't know what I was doing. I should not have played the Yoko there. Uh, that was, that's... That's my bad. Nothing just gives them haste. Sure, use that thing to give them haste. Whatever. So it's 11, 13, 15. They didn't find a land. They had an untapped land. One untapped land would have killed me. But yeah, that was, that was bad, putting out the Yoko. But it doesn't really matter. Fine. Remain blind. Uh, I at least wanted to play my Corvold. All right, get Paradise Druids back in there. Help speed me up. Taking out the Paradise Druid didn't work. You get no lands or six lands. That's all you get. Sure, deck. Whoa. 
Oh, we got Trailer Crumbs. Can that defeat our opponent keeping their seven card hand? Scrying to the top. Our one Trailer Crumbs. If they have Fire's Invention again, I would say no. Hopefully they don't have it. They had the two of them last game. I couldn't duress one away. Oh, they have negate. Please don't counter this. It's kind of all about fires of invention. If they have fires, I probably lose. If they don't, I have a good shot. You know. They keep on scrying to the top, and that's not reassuring. Um, probably need the second black. Goose. The goose. We got, we got the oven familiar trail. No. Well. We had a chance until then. Corvold. Draw card. Draw card. Oh no! The only card I couldn't draw. Oh, that's so def that's so upsetting. Like the only card I couldn't draw here was the basic swamp because I needed to fetch for the basic swamp. Uh
So that means I have to use food. That hurts. So that means we're gonna do this. Corvold is busted. Do not do this. Decline. <clears throat> Just draw five cards that turn, thanks to Corvold. <laughs> yeah. Corvold is king. They think their Kenrith is king. Nah, it's Corvold. Real king. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, we got a nice stocked hand again now. Yeah, too bad the king's cursed. Okay, I decided to come over, hang out, see what's up. What's up? about me is absolute nonsense absolute, absolute nonsense <laughs> surely you see the humor here So I can either look at the top two cards and take a permanent from among them or play this Witch's Oven and get an extra Witch's Oven trigger. Yeah, so I can either get the Trail of Crumbs or get this extra Witch's Oven out here. I think I'll do the Trail of Crumbs. I wish I could cavalier or I wish I could elk these castles. Scry two to the top? Oh, that's not good, Hawkeye. Hopefully they put some spell into their hand that we get to duress away now. Yeah, hopefully it's like like it's a creature, they play the creature. And keep the spell in their hand. This is my cue to exit. Always scry top. Why do you have to sit right there, Hawkeye? Or I can't see the screen. Does it every time. Just sit. Just sit right here. You're good right here.
Okay, so they had a Cavalier of Elk. Hmm. More, more geese. We need more geese. Yeah, put this one together, Mark, Marcusol. Um, this is a pretty popular deck, though. It did well at GP Leon this past weekend and everything too. More food. So we'll see what they got. Okay. I can chump block that with a goose. You start getting more of these ovens out here. It's a really good combination. You know, put the bad cards in your hand so you can ditch them all. It's a great combination there. And then, you know, just free f with fires and being able to activate. It's their best possible turn. He always like sneaks like right over here and like sits down very slow and carefully like don't see me I'm not I'm not doing anything over here don't worry about it and it's like now I can't see the screen I have to look over here to try to block it doesn't really matter which one I sacrifice the goose or the cat it does the same thing Either way, we're going to get a food. The cat goes to the graveyard. I wish I could just let him sit here. Because he loves just to sit right there, but I just can't see the screen. And it's just, it's a, such a smaller screen, like way over there. I'm sorry. And he's like looking at me like all sad. I moved him. I feel so bad. So I think it's more important to elk the uh, Cavalier of Flames. I shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. Your new look is enchanting.
Oh, I just had lethal, didn't I? If I would have just made this goose a 3-3, three, three, play my other one, make the other goose a 3-3, three, three, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, plus, I had an extra food here. That's 11, but then sacking the cauldron familiar. Do I still have lethal? Okay, if I play this, make this a 3-3, three, three, that's 7. No, I don't. 8, 9, 10. No, I don't. I didn't quite realize their life total was that low. Yeah, that's what I was checking. If I if I played the other Oko, would I or like at the beginning of the turn, I could have had lethal. At this point, I can't anymore after I realize that. <laughs> Whenever you play a second Oko, the first should just become an elk. That would make it even better. And if you play a second Oko, it, the second one just becomes an elk. Keep your first one. So you just play a three mana elk. Well, October is over. Now we're in Nov Elkber. Hmm. No Novelker. This month doesn't sound as good. All right, so all the creatures have trample and haste. They're definitely going to die. Yeah, so they're That just puts them dead on board. Right? Yeah, that just puts them dead on board. By on board, I mean they know about my murderous rider. You're too close-minded. They can't. They can't play anything else. Yeah, I guess they. Yeah, they would have just lost basically no matter what they did. They had to like s s have everybody sit back to start with. But I think I probably still could have had lethal even through that. Alright, they figured it out. That's why I started with the Murderous Rider to kind of tell them, hey, you're not going to have a blocker. <laughs> Elk's giving. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Oko... If Oko is still legal for Elk's Giving, if Oko reaches Elk's Giving or not. Yeah, the lag's on everybody. I'm going to reset Arena. End of the game there. <laughs> How do they release this game without a friends list function? I don't know. I guess you're not supposed to have friends, I guess. I don't know. That's, that's the best I got. I don't know. All right, we're going to play one more match. I usually play four matches in ranked. It's already after 10 o'clock. I usually play from 3 to 10. It's already after 10. But let's play one more. Let's even up our record here. 
two and two. Let's even it up. So Corvold was amazing. The turn we got to play it, we got to draw five cards. And Food Chain was awesome. Remember, we just kept that hand. We just kept five lands in a Food Chain after mulliganing. But the Food Chain... Is that the name of the card? Am I saying that right? Trail of Crumbs. Definitely not Food Chain. Okay, Trail of Crumbs. <laughs> I, was, I was like, that doesn't sound right. Okay, the Trail of Crumbs was amazing. <laughs> Let's see. I want. I guess I want Stomping Ground. Yeah, I already got Dubs. I already got Dubs built black. We'll grab Stomping Ground. Get a second green source. How do I play my music on stream? It's just. Um... I just use um, Spotify. I have a Spotify playlist. It's right there. Um, and yeah, I'm just playing it and You can hear all the computer sounds, including, yeah, that's how, you know, you hear the sounds from Arena and the music that I'm playing. It is Simic Flash, but we resolved Oko. So it's a game you're interested in. So we have Oko, Thief of Games. you to change your ways. I need to hold Murderous Rider for Nightpack Ambusher, but honestly, is, is Nightpack Ambusher even going to do anything? Anybody remember life pre Oko? Uh, is a better place. So hostile to the truth. into my face and put on your true shape. Basically, I don't want to allow them to be able to draw a bunch of cards with Spectral Sailors and also have the flying creature. So yeah, I'm turning a 1-1 into a 3-3. But they can't just sit back and draw cards. Now, I invite you to change your ways. Oh, 
Oh, that's unfortunate. They had the two counter spells. <clears throat> of course, I wanted to kill the cutthroat. That's what I was going to do with that one. Quite the nibble. Welcome to the feast. All right, gonna thin the deck. Not helping. It's not poison. Trust me. Because yeah, because of trail of crumbs, it's good just to have all my lands in play. Also, okay, yeah, Grixis Amass. Yeah, I'm not gonna have time to play it today. I'm gonna lead off tomorrow with Grixis Amass. I didn't have time to play it yesterday, and not gonna have time now to play it today. Here's the link to the deck list right here. We're going, it's built around War of the Spark. Themed. Um, the Amass, like with the Amass cards um, from uh, You Block You. Uh, three o'clock Eastern. One bite, and all I usually is a I usually get started a little bit more around like three ten, three fifteen. You know, I give people some time to get on in there and you know get set up and stuff. But yeah, so I stream from three to ten Eastern every single day. And so yeah, as you can tell right now, it's ten eleven Eastern. So we're already over that. We can pretty easily kill the Brazen Borrower this next turn. So they have to hope they drew a counter spell for my Mayhem Devil. Ugh. Arena. Stop lagging. It's been so bad this week. Oh, I thought they drew Tail's End. I was like real scared. They drew Tail's End. That would be so scary. You can't get rid of a cat at the Tail's End. Well, that was... Okay. Well, they're they're definitely back in it now. Why not? They are back in it now. I draw a brick. I don't have very many bricks in my deck right now. So many cards would have been great to kill the Spectral Sailor and we would have been just fine. <laughs> but not Shocklands. Oh my gosh.
I thought we had this for sure. Nope. Yeah, Troll Knights did the best tonight, including beating uh, Oko four times. Yeah, beat Oko four times. Maybe th three times. Three times. I think either three or four. I think three times. I mean, honestly, Cor Corvold's really expensive here. Be great for, you know, the game goes like it did there, but it's not something to have early on with it costing five mana. And then also MTG find or fiend. So many mulligans. Um, if if you if you don't if you don't get to the stream tomorrow, if you miss it, um, it'll be going up on YouTube right right away afterwards. Um, I put up all the replays over on YouTube, and they're up about forty five minutes after I get done playing the deck. So there's the YouTube channel there. If you ever miss any of the videos, you want to check them out later. Do I put back... I guess I just put back Ryder. Yeah, I just put back Ryder. Okay, perfect. Oh no, I hope my, my opponent didn't just dis disconnect. No opponent. That's unfortunate. Um, 
Well, that was our last match they were going to play, but I don't think I should count that as a win over the win column. So I guess we finished one and two. My opponent, my opponent got disconnected the fourth game uh, while we were down a game, so that doesn't really count as a win. So I guess we're finishing one and two. I wanted to try to fit, you know, to try to finish two and two, but we didn't really get the chance. Um, got robbed there, but yeah, our deck didn't. I don't know. It it didn't work out as well as I was thinking. I was I was really. I was really high on the deck going into the th the three matches, three three and a half matches. It didn't feel like we had enough card draw, you know. Like we had a lot of mulligans, we had like a lot of zero landers and six landers, and um, therefore a lot of mulligans. Um, nothing was really smooth. The games that we like, the games that we played, we drew just like, you know, three Cauldron Familiar or three Oko or three Wicked Wolf and. We didn't really draw a variety of things, you know. We never really had like a familiar, an oven, and a devil. That never happened, kind of thing, you know. Like we we didn't really, you know, like draw too well. We only got to play Corvold one time, and it was absolutely amazing. I think I'd want another Corvold in here instead of the Vraska. Corvold was was really cool. Um. They are still like a five. It's still a five mana creature though, that makes you start sacrificing and everything. But there was just basically so many of those games. Like they would just go late, and I was just thinking, man, I'd love to draw Corvold. I'd love to draw Corvold. I'd love to draw Corvold, and we just never did. Um, trailer crumbs was was really good. Also, we only had trailer crumbs one time. It's like our two our two like engine cards that draw a lot of cards are Corvold and trailer crumbs. We had four total copies. You know, two and two. Plus, we had the Once Upon a Times to try to help find Corvold. Yet, there's only one game in three matches <laughs> that we had Corvold or Trail of Crumbs, and they were the same game. So that's why our deck looked really weak. Um, Mulligans, Mana Troubles, and we didn't have our engine cards online ever, except for like the one game, but that, that game was really cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we got to say about Four Color Food. Um, if you're playing, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're playing Corvold in another way, like if you have like a Jund Corvold deck uh, where you're playing more copies of Corvold and you're really liking it, you know, feel free to post the list down in the comment section. Um, you know, I, I tried to make different Corvold decks. I tried, you know, like going like basically off like the Rakdos sacrifice, but I kind of just felt like this was just a lot stronger option with Oko. Uh, so I just so I went and played this deck um, instead, but because um, yeah, I wanted to play the, the strongest option that I thought. Um, anyway, but that's it here for four color food. Um, again, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.